Hi guys, I'm Claire Promazine and I'm here to talk about my autobiography. My generic name is Clorpromazine hydrochloride. My brand names are Thorazine, Largactyl, Ormazine, Zycloren, and Sinor. And here are my chemical names. I am classified as antipsychotics and phenothiazines. I am also under pregnancy category C. I blocks postsynaptic dito dopamine receptors, which is considered the dopamine receptor blockade in the mesolimbic area accounts for antipsychotic effect, whilst blockade in the nigrostriatal system produces the extrapyramidal effects associated with chlorpromazine use. The antiemetic effect results from dopamine antagonism in the chemoreceptor trigger zone. I also possess anti properties, which is an antagonist that histamine, serotonin, and alpha-1 adrenergic receptors. I am readily but sometimes erotically absorbed from the GI tract, which reach the peak of plasma concentrations after 2-4 to four hours. I am widely distributed, crosses the blood-brain barrier and placenta, and enters breast milk. I am extensively hepatic by hydroxylation and conjugation with glucuronic acid, in oxidation, oxidation of sulfur from atom, and dealkylation. I have 30 hours half-life and excreted through urine and feces. Regarding my indications, I am indicated for the management of manifestations of psychotic disorders, for the relief of restlessness and apprehension before surgery, to control the manifestations of the manic type of manic depressive illness, for the treatment of severe behavioral problems in children marked by combativeness and or explosive hyper-excitable behavior, for short-term treatment of hyperactive children with excessive motor activity with accompanying conduct disorders consisting of some or all of the following symptoms, impulsivity, difficulty sustaining attention, aggressiveness, mood lability, and poor frustration tolerance, for controlling nausea, vomiting, and intractable hiccup, as well as pre-surgical apprehension and restlessness. I am also contraindicated for clients with known hypersensitivity to phenothiazines, and also do not use me in comatose states or in the presence of large amount of central nervous system depressants like alcohol and narcotics, and to clients with conditions like breast cancer, anemia, overweight, chronic heart failure, glaucoma, and orthostatic hypotension. Upon administrations, you might experience some of these side and adverse effects. It includes tachycardia, bradycardia, myocardial failure, prolonged QTC, dystonias, motor restlessness, pseudo-parkinsonism, constipation, weight gain, decreased sweating and salivation, blurred vision, epithelial keratopathy, pigmentary retinopathy, hypersensitivity, contact dermatitis, galactorrhea, and muscular discomfort. For proper administration, if you're a nurse, here are some nursing responsibilities you must know. Before administration, obtain complete health history including allergies, drug history, and possible drug interactions. Establish baseline BP in standing and recumbent positions and pulse before initiating treatment. During administration, monitor BP frequently. Hypotensive reactions, dizziness, and sedation are common during early therapy, particularly in patients in high doses and in the older adult receiving parenteral doses. Monitor cardiac status with baseline ECG in patients with pre-existing cardiovascular disease. Be alert for signs of neuroleptic malignant syndrome and report immediately. Also, observe and record smoking since it increases metabolism of phenothiazines, resulting in a shortened half-life and more rapid clearance of drug. Higher dosage in smokers may be required. Advise patients to stop or at least reduce smoking if possible. Monitor I and O ratio and pattern. Urinary retention due to mental depression and compromised renal function may occur. If serum creatinine becomes elevated, therapy should be discontinued. Monitor for anti-emetic effect of chlorpromazine, which may obscure signs of overdosage of other drugs or other causes of nausea and vomiting. 
After administration, monitor diabetics or prediabetics on long-term, high-dose therapy for reduced glucose tolerance and loss of diabetes control. Ocular examinations and EEG in patients greater than 50 years old are recommended before and periodically during prolonged therapy. Monitor compliance with medication regimen and for adverse effects. Evaluate the effectiveness of drug therapy as well as patient understanding on drug therapy by asking the patient to name the drug, its indication, and adverse effect to watch for. Moving on, let's discuss about my other half. It has a drug name of furfinazine and a generic name of furfinazine. Her brand name is Trilafone and her chemical name are as follows. It is classified as antipsychotic, antiemetic, and phenothiazine. It is under pregnancy category C. It binds to the dopamine D1 and dopamine D2 receptors and inhibits their activity. The mechanism of antiemetic effect is due predominantly to blockage of the dopamine D2 neurotransmitter receptors in the chemoreceptor trigger zone and vomiting center. Furfinazine also binds the alpha adrenergic receptor, which this receptor's action is imitated by association with G proteins that activate a phosphatidylinositol calcium second messenger system. I have an oral bioavailability of approximately 40% and distributed widely into the body including breast milk. I am 91-99% to protein bound. After oral tablet administration, the steady state serum levels achieved within 4-7 to seven days. I am metabolized extensively by the liver and no active metabolites formed. I am mostly excreted in urine via kidneys, some in vessels via biliary tract with a half-life of 8-12 to 12 hours but ranges up to 20 hours. I am indicated for the control of severe nausea and vomiting as well as for the use in the treatment of schizophrenia. And I am contraindicated for clients with non-hypersensitivity to phenothiazines. Some of my adverse effects includes hypotension, orthostatic hypotension, hypertension, tachycardia, bradycardia, extrapyramidal signs, dizziness, cerebral edema, increased sensitivity to sun, hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia, galactorrhea, constipation, weight gain, vomiting, stomach pain, tremor, nasal congestion, and diaphoresis. Now let's discuss about nursing responsibilities in administration of birth and signs. Before administration, establish baseline BP before initiation of drug therapy and check at the regular intervals, especially during early therapy. Obtain a health history from the client of present drug therapy. During administration, monitor vital signs. Orthostatic hypotension is likely to occur. Do not allow patient to crush or chew sustained release capsules as this will speed up absorption and may cause toxicity. Report restlessness, weakness of extremities, dystonic reactions, motor restlessness, and Parkinsonian syndrome. A high incidence of extrapyramidal effects accompanies use of perfenazine, particularly with high doses and parenteral administration. Monitor blood glucose levels with long-term use to detect development of glucose intolerance. Be alert to potential for altered tolerance to environmental temperature changes. Be cautious with external heat devices. Conditions avoidant behavior may be depressed and a severe burn could result. After administration, monitor patient response to therapy and adverse effects such as sedation, extrapyramidal effects, hypotension, and bone marrow suppression. Evaluate patient understanding on drug therapy by asking patient to name the drug, its indication, and adverse effects to watch for. Also, monitor patient compliance to drug therapy. I think that's all there is to know about me. By the way, I am anti-emetic agent, chlorpromazine, and perfenazine. I hope you have fun and learned something. Bye!